But howdy, y'all. Uncle T here. Now, I'm not going to bother with putting in some teaser leader here. I'm just going to go straight into it. So, uh, you know, uh, this is part two of the series I'm making here. Part two of two. And this is from yesterday's. I got around to finishing it. So uh, here y'all go. Please try to enjoy responsibly, as they say. But holy cow, it's hard. Rodney Montgomery is 51. He previously was arrested when he traveled in Pinellas County to meet a 13 or 14 year old who turned out to be an undercover detective. Over there, they only sentenced him to 21 months in the Florida State Prison System. It's more than obvious that Brad Copley was not the prosecutor. Well, he confessed this time. We've got him for 20 counts of promotion, 10 counts of possession, children as young as five years of age. He's already done 21 months when he traveled to meet a minor. So we know he not only looks at child porn, he will travel if he thinks he can have sex with a minor. They don't change, folks. People with this set of deviant ethics and morals don't change. How about Brian Murray? He's 54. He traveled to meet a 13-year-old. He was going to pay the child for sex. He sent nude pictures of himself. Of himself. He sent nude pictures of himself to what he thought was a 13-year-old child. Fortunately, it was our undercover detective. Listen to this. Here's his quote. He's talking to a 13-year-old child. I can take better care of you than the little schoolboys. He's 51 years old. He's saying that to a 13-year-old girl who he sends nude pictures of himself to this child. I, I'm sorry, he, he had the real victim, but we took over the account. That wasn't an undercover operation. This was to a real child. And then we took over the account and finished up the operation with our undercover. I want you to think about that for a second. Brian Murray, who's 54, was online with a 13-year-old, sending nude pictures of himself, and talking about how he was far superior than the little schoolboys. We charged him with attempted lewd battery, transmission, computer, uh, using a computer to, to seduce a child, traveling, and he confessed. Then there's Michael Arambulo. Now, if you get really sick or you're really injured and you end up at the heart of Florida, at some point in time, he could have been your ICU nurse because that's where he worked. But he likes child porn, children as young as five. We charged him with 10 counts of child porn, which is an F2. He confessed to looking at child porn. And when we served the search warrant, he was looking at pornography at the time we went to serve the warrant. It's my understanding he is not currently working at Heart of Florida Hospital. I think that's a good thing. I would hate to wake up in ICU and see that dude there. And here's Mark Ott. He's a mechanical engineer. He's 49 years of age. He has two sons, one of them still in high school. He's charged with 74 counts of possession of child porn. Children as young as three months. Did you hear me? Children as young as three months. Ladies and gentlemen, it makes me sick to my stomach when I see this. But now I want to introduce you to two more people. You're going to have to follow me with this because it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a conflicted interwoven tale. I want to introduce you to Jacob Jackson. Jacob is 31. He was soliciting a 13-year-old on Facebook. The 13-year-old on Facebook notified the sheriff's office and we sent patrol out there. 
the 13 year old said, Hey, I know who this guy is. His name is Jared Jackson, but he's going online as Jacob Jackson. And we said, well, how do you know that? The 13 year old girl said, I did my own research on the FDLA website and I saw his picture. And I know his name's Jared Jackson. Wrong. There's Jared Jackson, his brother. A year and a day younger than Jacob. That's right. Jared was already on the FDLE website. So here's what happened. Jacob is online trying to hit on this 13-year-old child. She's astute enough to research, and she sees Jared picture, Jared's picture, and as you can tell, they can't deny being brothers. They look almost the same. So as a result of this investigation, we're also investigating, and we find that Jared Jackson, who's not supposed to be living at his mother's address, is living at his mother's address with Jacob. Jared, while on, while there illegally at his mother's address, is trying to deal with Jacob Jackson when Jared catches him talking to this 13-year-old online. So Jared and his mother take Jacob's computer away from him to stop him from talking to the 13-year-old. And Jared says he's counseling with his brother about how bad prison is and he does not want to end up in the same shape as his brother. So maybe here's a conversation they're having. Jacob, I tried to warn you, and you're just an idiot. And Jacob says, Jerry, do you think they'll let us stay together in the same jail cell? Jared says, I doubt it. But heck, we can ask. It doesn't hurt. After all, we're going to be spending time together. Jacob, you're my brother. I don't know what they're saying. They're just idiots. Mama's got to be proud. You, you don't keep everyone in forever. That's why we have a very robust system in the state of Florida and here at the Sheriff's Office where we, will, we follow these folks and track them. And see, we arrest these folks periodically all along. On Halloween Day, we were out following up on all of our registered sex offenders. All of them to make sure they didn't have lights on and candy out and decorations to entice children to come to their different residences. So there's a lot that goes on that you don't see. But this is just a cancer on society that we have to deal with. And this is a cancer that I suggest never will be cured. We can only keep it under control with prisons and we can only keep it under control with a lot of medication while they're on this controlled release or probation or offender watch status. I, I can tell you the internet has made it much easier for sexual predators to prey on children because now they can go into virtual game sites, social media sites, and pretend to be people that they're not. The child porn we're seeing today is produced with phones such as this that have marvelous, marvelous ability to not only take still photos, but videos. So it's easier to make child porn, it's easier to transmit child porn, and it's easier for them to communicate and to locate each other. Birds of a feather flock together and they find each other. And then we go in and we clip their wings. But we actually have counseling sessions with them because this is, this is the most horrible, nasty stuff. You just can't believe what they're subjected to to conduct these investigations. You cannot believe what they see 
And, and I keep being shocked when people suggest to me that quote unquote, and I hate to hear this term, kitty porn, is a 16, 17, 15 year old girl who looks 25 and acts that way. Wrong. These are pictures of babies, some as young as infants in diapers that are being sexually abused by developed grown men. It is horrible. And quite frankly, it's illegal to share. We would never share, but I only wish that the public had a full understanding of how deviant these people are with what they're watching as far as video clips and are still pictures. Some of this is a live movie of these children being sexually abused with the screaming and crying and hollering. But if the people in the what I call the real world saw what we saw, they'd probably take up arms against them. We have not been able to locate the victims of the child porn yet. That's always a primary objective, but we work with Nick Mick as we have this time. And Nick Mick has algorithms of this and, and has been successful in identifying the victims of crime. That's obviously our number one priority. Where are the children that are victimized in this child porn. That's always a number one desire to locate the victim so we can rescue them. Well, there you go, my friends. Another thoroughly disturbing video. And I think that's going to be my last one of these kind of things because it just breaks my heart to see this stuff. So I don't know how y'all feel, but I'm done with these guys. But anyway, now I just uh, hope y'all still see a way to subscribe and like and share. And uh, by sharing, you can help me grow this channel, and I'd appreciate that. And uh, failing that, well, I've got a couple more links here you're just going to see pop up that you might want to click on. More videos of the same kind of thing, but not really the same kind of thing. It's not going to all be this kind of horrific, tear your eyeball out kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, some good videos there, too. I'm going to try to concentrate a bit more on the other stuff. So, um, you all have a blessed day. Take care of yourself. You take care of each other. And God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.